Abby is the young daughter of a professional poker player who, at one point, was considered a poker prodigy. Resolves to start over after becoming weary of helping her dad out of his financial difficulties. She relocates far from Las Vegas and starts her own college journey. Her best friend America meets her and shows Abby their shared dormitory room in the evening. Shepley brings Abby to an underground fighting club, she doesn't like being there and wants to go, but instead she runs into Travis, a fiery fighter with an amazing physique and tattoos that instantly grab Abby's interest. He initiates a battle and mercilessly beats up his opponent, he pauses to speak with Abby as she watches, but he misses a big blow to the skull. Travis, nevertheless, rises to the occasion and wins the fight. Before leaving the club, Abby literally collapses into his arms, and Travis flirts with her. Once home, Abby can't stop thinking about Travis, she even has a hot dream about him in the shower. While having breakfast, Shepley told Abby that Travis is his cousin, who unexpectedly turns up and catches her off surprise. During the lecture, she browses through his Instagram and thinks to herself about how attractive this lad is, only to realize that he is sitting just behind her. During the lecture, Travis tries to win Abby over, but she plays hard to get. Travis asks Abby out on a date after she informs him that he has no chance with her and that it appears to be a challenge. Travis appears near her dorm on a motorcycle, Abby reluctantly agrees to let him give her a ride. While walking around the park Abby offers Travis to be friends, and he tells her about his family, his mother passed away when he was three, and Travis's father raised him and his four brothers alone. Abby doesn't tell him anything about her dark past and just flees the scene thanks to her clumsiness. The next day, Abby meets another handsome guy Parker, she accidentally hurts him with a frisbee, but he still finds patience to flirt with her a little bit. When the water in Abby in America's room turns off, they are forced to spend the night in Shepley and Travis's apartment. While there, Abby gets a lot of texts and voicemails from her father Mick, which she ignores. She also hears Travis hooking up with a random girl and accuses him of being a horny womanizer. In response, Travis offers to let Abby spend the night in his bed. While sleeping, Abby has a funny dream about cats and accidentally caresses Travis, which makes her feel uncomfortable. When she wakes up, they argue, and Abby flees from his apartment while still in her pajamas. She meets Parker, who extends an invitation to dinner, and she accepts. Okay, bye. Yep, dinner plans. The evening is going well, and Parker invites Abby to catch a show after dinner. It turns out to be a fighting competition, where Travis is undoubtedly present to execute, Abby tries to convince Travis to call off the fight after seeing his opponent. Travis offers Abby a bet, if he wins, she will move in with him for a month, if he loses, he won't have sex for three months. The fight is heated, but Travis won't let his opponent get close to him. After Travis prevails in the battle, Abby understands what she has just committed to. She tries to explain the situation to Parker, but he obviously needs some time to process it she wants. Parker tries to kiss her, but he's too afraid of Travis, so he just orders her to get out of his car and go. When Abby moves into Travis's apartment, she plans to make his life as miserable and unbearable as possible. They fight, argue, and Abby tries to make Travis feel uncomfortable in his own home. Travis's fighting career succeeds, and the guys eventually get along better. Travis then decides to take Abby to meet his family, where she meets his brothers and father Jim. When the boys decide to play poker and invite Abby to join them, she hesitates but agrees and wins them all. Everyone is shocked including Jim, who recalls a story about some poker prodigy girl from Las Vegas and her problematic father. Abby confesses to being that that girl and finally gets it off her chest. When Abby and Travis's month together is almost over, Abby starts thinking about dating him, because they enjoy spending time with each other, Travis teaches her how to fight and constantly makes her laugh. He is a great guy but Abby feels like dating him will be too much for her, at least at this period of her life. However their mutual attraction is stronger than anything and they end up kissing and almost having sex for a moment, Abby hesitates and pushes Travis from the bed but then they start passionately kissing again, Abby runs to the bathroom where she asks America for advice and admits that she loves Travis. 
Meanwhile Travis notices mixed messages from Mick on Abby's laptop, and thinks that he is her boyfriend he gets angry and leaves. He comes back home completely drunk and carrying their neighbor's aggressive cat, Travis confronts Abby. And she tells him that Mick is actually her father she can't forgive his invasion into her personal space, and goes away. The next day Abby meets Parker in the college library, he manages to lure her to her own surprise birthday party organized by Shepley, America and Travis. Abby gets drunk and has fun with her friends, she wants to make Travis jealous by dancing with Parker but he tells her that he doesn't want to be used like a tool to get someone's attention. Abby and Travis have another fight and she kisses him and vomits right into his face. Once he brings her home and consoles Abby teases him by removing her panties, Unable to handle the tension between them, Abby and Travis finally decide to have sex. Their amazing sex makes them realize that they are meant for each other. Later, when Abby leaves for college, an unidentified man approaches her and threatens to harm her father if she doesn't accompany him. Please subscribe for more movie.